Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Okay, now this next video is going to be very short by my standards. I promise you that at the end of the last one, that this was going to be a short one. And it will, because it's something dead, dead simple. Now, I've titled it Free Distilled Water. And it is free in as much as you would be throwing this water away anyway. But obviously it's not totally free because you've got to own a tumble dryer or get yourself a tumble dryer, a condensing tumble dryer to get this uh, method of turf uh, distilled water. So what it is, I recently bought a heat pump tumble dryer, candy heat pump tumble dryer. Uh, click, click the link up here if you haven't seen that. Absolutely fantastic. If you don't know heat pump tumble dryers, use about half or even less than that, half as much electricity as a normal condensing tumble dryer. Um, I did a full test on it, comparing it to my daughter's older conventional tumble dryer, and it did. It used half the electric. It's really, really, really cheap to run. Like I say, check out that, that, that uh, video if you want to see all the details on that. But the way a condensing tumble dryer works is, as you know, instead of like the, the original ones, which just blew it out of an outside outlet as steam, a condensing one condenses that, that water vapour out. So it extracts the water vapour from the clothes and drips it into a tray, a collection tray. Like I say, a heat pump one goes through another process as well, goes through a, a, a heat exchanger that that is look it up if you want the full explanation but any condensing dryer will collect its water in some receptacle that you throw away now normally it's in like a drawer at the top like in your washing machine where you'd put your powder and you just take that out and walk to the sink and throw it away the one i got one of the reasons i got it was i liked the look at this that's the receptacle and as you can see that goes on the inside of the door the it, taught, it drips it into a little hole there. There's a little pipe on the machine. So it drips it in there. And then at the end of the cycle, you just clip that off. And so you can splash it around. Because there's only a little hole there to pour it out of. And you don't have to go dead steady to the sink like you do with a drawer. So I did like the idea of that. So that's the water in there. Now, because it has been condensed out it is distilled water that's what wa distilled water is water that's been boiled and the steam that comes off that boiling water touches a cold surface like a lungs or pipe what that condenses out into water droplets that's collected and that is your distilled water now i'll show you at the end of this video were uh, two sort of black bowls one of dribbled tap water in and one of dribbled distilled water in just to show you once it's dried out you can see the deposits that are left in the uh, tap water and they're not there in the distilled water. So it occurred to me, that, great, instead of pouring it down the, the sink, I've got a supply of distilled water for either irons, I never use an iron, I never iron anything. Uh, looks like I'm on my own now, I lost my wife for nearly a couple of years ago. Um, so I never iron anything. Oh yeah, batteries, car batteries. Um, very handy for that. You can get deionized water as well. Again, look up the difference between distilled and deionized. Basically, distilled is even purer than deionized water. So, I'd always say top, top up your batteries with distilled water, your kettle with distilled water. The air freshener thing, I've got them um, vaporizing essential oil type things where you put the drops of essential oil on the water and it sends a vapour out, they recommend you use distilled water for that. It's the deposits, the mineral deposits in the other that, that clog up all the pipes. It's quite safe to drink it, uh, tap water, but uh, it's, it's the pipes in your dishwasher, your washing machine, your car battery, your iron and all that that get all the scale on them. Uh, if you use distilled water, that won't happen. So I've done this experiment with four bowls, distilled water, tap water, filtered tap water from just a normal jug tap filter with a brand new filter i'll show you me putting that on my daughter has lent me that and uh and the, di the distilled water so yeah tap water boiled and gone cold tap water 
filtered tap water and the distilled water. So let's get straight to doing it now. I've, I've rigged it all up in, in the lounge, a uh, room I never go in, but I haven't got enough room in here to do this test. And uh, we'll see uh, dipping the, these test sticks in. It's these test sticks here. I'll go at the end of this video and I'll read what the uh, the hardness things are and that, but uh, I've only just bought them this week, brand new out the the bag. So let's go and do that test now. Okay, we're all set up here on the, uh, in my lounge, a room I never usually go in, but I haven't got enough room to do this in my shed. So we've got them all set out here. As you can see, this is tap water, boiled water, which is it's lukewarm, it's just room temperature now. Tap water that's gonna be filtered and the distilled water. Now I've got the distilled water here. This is, it's hard to show you. Yeah, it's flopping around in there. This is the um, what my tumble dryer collects it in. It goes on the inside of the door. Uh, most condensing tumble dryers, it's like a little drawer at the top, like the same sort of drawer that you put your washing machine powder in. But on this, it's the actual uh, inside of the door. It's dead easy. It's uh, easy to get out and walk to the sink. There's no chance of spilling it. You can slush it around. So I'll show you that pouring it in the dish live. And I'm just proving to you this, I'm opening a brand new filter. And I'm gonna put this in now, but just to prove to you, it's a brand new filter, but I've got to run water through it for um, one minute and then pour two uh, jugs of that through it. So uh, I'm gonna go into the kitchen now and do that. And then we'll pour these two into the bowls and do the test. I've got the sticks here, not out the packet yet. Um, I've had one for, for, for testing but that's in, been in the sealed packet it's only a couple of days th two or three days old and i'm going to mark each stick with the uh, sharpie there so i'm just going to go to the kitchen now I'll be back in a minute and uh, we'll do the the full test okay we're back now i've run i run it under the tap for a minute and put two full jugs through it as it recommends from a for a new filter so i'm going to pour this in here now so this is just the filtered tap water now, I have tried this test. I got a limited amount of sticks. I only got 10 sticks uh, only to do this, this test for this video. So I don't want, don't want to waste them doing loads of tests. So I've only tried it on distilled water versus tap water. I've never tried it on filtered water myself yet anyway. So that's the filtered water. And finally, we'll put the distilled water in here. So that's straight out of the uh, tumble dryer. Now I'll open these sticks and I'll write on them with a sharpie which one each is. And you've got to dip in silica gel bag there. You've got to dip in for three seconds only and then compare the test within three minutes. So I'm going to get four sticks out. Put that back in. I'm going to write on it, starting from this end, which was a tap. So tap. Dip them in now, so you can see me doing it, and then we'll uh, show it compared to the. Uh, I'll disconnect the camera from the from the tripod, and we'll uh, we'll get it close here on the table, and we'll compare them to that. So I'm going to put that there now. And first of all, tap water. One, two, three. Let's tap. Boiled water. One, two, three. Boiled. Tap water filtered. One, two, three. And distilled. One, two, three. Okay, so disconnect the camera now. And we'll go straight around there and compare them. Okay, so I've lined them up here. You can see we've got tap here. 
distill sorry tap boiled tap filtered and distilled now if we look at the actual it's all sorted out here now if you look at the chart here the water hardness test and you can see the sell by date it, it expires 7th 2024 so it's well within its date and we run from here zero parts per million up to a thousand parts per million now if you look at the tap water that is right if you look at the tap water that is right up here 250 probably between 250 and 425 if you look at the boiled water it's pretty much the same but it's a, even redder actually the boiled is right up to a thousand so it shows it hasn't got any rid of any of the minerals in it boiling it well I've got rid of bacteria but not minerals the filtered water is a bit better you can see that's up. it's not quite as red I would say it's between them two but it's still in the hardness bit still above 180 but the distilled one is right down here at I would say zero zero parts per million so uh, that just shows that uh, yeah, filtering or boiling it won't get rid of your deposits, uh, your minerals. But uh, distilled is uh, very, very pure out of your tumble dryer. Okay, so there you have it. The proof is in the results. If you do want a free source, free in as much as you would be pouring the water away anyway, of uh, distilled water, use it out of your condensing tumble dryer. So, uh, yeah, like I said, it, it surprised me when I did the test on how hard the water was in my area. Because I remember a few years ago, we always used to, they always used to say was, we were in quite a soft water area. I'm in West Lancashire between Fleetwood and Blackpool. And we always used to be soft water around it. We never really had a, a scale problem. And I can't say I have a real sort of scale problem now, but uh, you still do get it in the bottom of the kettle and things. But as you saw on this, I'll show you a bit closer than you did before. You can see the distilled one that was yellow. It was way down there at, I would say, zero. And uh, the all three of the others, the tap water and the boiled water, were right up there in the, the dark reds, 425 to 1,000. And I would say the filtered water may have been a tiny bit more orange, but it was... It was still above 250, so they were all in the hard water area, and the distilled one was in the soft. But um, that's what it uh, is, just a total hardness water test kit. I'll read you what these things say under here. If, it, if your water is a hardness greater than 80 parts per million, detergents with softening agents are not completely effective in cleaning. If it's greater than 120 parts per million, some scaling will occur in pipes and appliances. And hardness greater than 250, which it was, it says dishwasher impossible to use without producing film on dishes. Um, I haven't got a dishwasher, so I wouldn't know about that. Um, I do know a couple of people who, who have one, and I don't think they've complained about film on, on dishes, but... I don't know, I've never had one, so I wouldn't know. But, um, yeah, like I said, that the proof is there. It's uh, definitely worth not throwing it away. Uh, just keeping it in a, a spare container in the garage for, for topping up batteries, kettles. Things like um, these diffusers. What do you call them? Uh, hyper, hydro, hydrosonic or something. That you drip uh, essential oils on on the water. It's like a little pyramid. I've got one behind me, and it puts a vapor out. They recommend distilled water for that. Anything where any deposits over time are going to build up and and cause a problem. One way of showing it is what I just did half an hour ago was I just thoroughly cleaned them dishes out again that I've just used, 
and I just dribbled off my finger some drops of tap water and some distilled water. Now the tap water one, you can see once it's dried and I just put them on top of my oil filled radiator and that's the deposits they leave behind when it's dry. That's all your mineral salts and that that are in your tap water. And as you'll know, that's the sort of thing you have on your, your car when you've washed it on the windscreen and that, all them little bits, they're deposits from the tap water unless you've dried it with a chamois or um, microfiber towel or whatever. And that's the one I did exactly the same, dribbled off my finger, but the distilled water. You can just make out where the drops were. Tiny, tiny bit of something left, but nothing like as much as on on that one get one in the same light well it's hard to see but you can you, you can see definitely there's more on this one than that one so just proves that uh, it is a great method of getting free distilled water yeah and i forgot to add so i'm just squeezing this bit in before you actually use it in your kettle or your battery or store it in a container in the garage or whatever, I would advise putting it through a filter. I'm going to filter mine out. As you saw, the filter does nothing to get rid of the mineral deposits, but it will get rid of any bits of uh, hair and fluff and that that might still be in it. It's pure distilled water, but there will be bits of stuff in it from the tumble dryer that hasn't got a great filtration system or anything. So any trapped bits of fluff and hairs and dust and that might still be in there. So... I would stick it through a filter like this before you store it for good uh, in the garage. So that, that's what I'll be doing. That's what I'll be using this for, for, for filtering my distilled water before I use it in the appliance. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I say, I've tried to keep it very short and I've waffled a bit, but it still should only be about 20 minutes or so, hopefully. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't, give us a thumbs down. I will. I don't know what the next one will be on. Whatever gadget I get next, I fancy doing a review on, I'll, I'll do one. So if you haven't already subscribed, it'd be great if you could. Click in the little shed here. Oh, I forgot to say, I'll put a link to the actual tumble dryer I got. And again, I got it off uh, Amazon. Uh, it can be heat pump tumble dryer. Thoroughly recommended so far. I don't know long term reliability or whatever, but it's certainly very, very, very cheap to run compared to a normal one. Like I said, check out, mentioned earlier on, check out the video I did the, comparing me daughters with a heat pump one. And I'll put a link to these test strips as well. If you do buy from that browsing session, once you clicked on it, I get a few pence commission from uh, Amazon. No extra cost to you, but. Uh, I've got to disclose that and uh, it helps this channel keep going. Every little penny helps. So, uh, yeah, like I say, I hope it has been of some use. If you haven't subscribed, please click the little shed on the left here. And once you've done that, click the bell icon below and you'll be alerted to any new uploads. Thanks for watching this one. Hope to see you for the next one. Bye for now.